教大家 ，er 的发音，这个 er 的发音非常的重要。那我们先来学习它的发音吧。er， when you pronounce it， you first keep your tone in the position of a、er. We learn this e.、Uh, the the voice come from here. E.、Uh, then roll up your tongue. Er.、Uh, er.、Uh. Okay, very good. 那今天我们为什么来学习 er er、uh, uh、的发音呢？那是因为 er、uh、有不同的用法和意思。首先，我们来解释一下第一个用法。er、uh,。Can present one character means like 女儿 daughter 儿童 child. And the second we learn 儿化音儿化音 is like the pinyin with additional er pronunciation. Is when you pronounce it, it's quite like English. It is. It is, ah,、uh, it's not it is. <laughs> okay, and you are is, yeah. For example, 一点一点儿哪里哪儿一会一会儿 When you heard the pronunciation, you realize maybe you notice like sounds lazy. Yes, actually they tend to omit the last phoneme, and it's more easy to pronounce it. Ah,、uh, 儿化音 is from the uh northern 北方，北方人喜欢用儿化音 because it's more easy to pronounce it. Also. Ah,、uh, it's more casual. 那南方人 use less 儿化音 So which one you prefer? With 儿化音 without 儿化音 And the third point I would like to introduce, like, ah,、uh, with 儿 the meaning is different. Like, 头头在这儿 Ah,、uh, 在这儿 I use er 发音呢，在这儿。头哇 ，leader leader。盖 is verb cover。啊，盖儿 is when you have a beer, you take the lead, take off。盖儿啊，盖儿。画 is also verb is job。啊，画 is picture。Painting. 我喜欢画画。画画 I like painting. Like 画画 the pronunciation is like a rub, right? Yeah. So, 儿化音 er 的 pronunciation is really have different meanings and use different in Chinese. Also, it's also one of the culture culture in Chinese language. Hmm. So, did you get it? 好的。今天我们学到这里，再见。